All right, howdy folks. Uh, welcome back to Top Comics Pressing. In this video, we've got ourselves another unboxing for this wonderful box that is fresh back from Florida and CGC. Uh, this box should hopefully contain a full handful of modern comic submissions. Now, within it uh, should be three books that were previously submitted. And so we should have a book that was previously a 9.4 Wolverine number one limited edition. It had some pretty extensive foxing, and so I'll be very excited to see what CGC graded the book after I remove the foxing. Of course, for that one, we are going for the full home run and hoping to get a 9.8. The next one up is the ever popular Amazing Spider-Man 300. Now people, especially veteran pressers, will recognize this is a hard book to bump because CGC is almost never generous uh, on this book. So we're going to see what I can do with this. This one was at an 8.5 and for those of you that like using GPA or other services will know that tick from an 8.5 to a 9.0 grade on that one is always a big one. Uh, the next one up here is a uh, Secret Wars number one. This was previously an 8.5 graded CGC book but we will notice it was the notoriously uh, restored copy. So anything that is restored, especially on a modern book, is going to be a big deal. Typically what is referred to here is a plod, P-L-O-D, or purple label of doom. Uh, for those of you that follow fair market value, often restored comic books have between about 40 and 50 percent the fair market value of an unrestored copy. So unrestoring a comic book is almost always a massive increase in the fair market value of the book. Some people don't mind the restored value. I really love Golden Age DC and some of those books are really only available in purple labels uh, or at least more than half the census is restored of some kind. So I don't consider it to be as much of a taboo as other collectors, uh, but it's something to watch for. Now, this is three of the five books that are in this box. So you might ask, what are the other two? One of them is a newsstand copy of The Amazing Spider-Man 316. Now that is, oh, by the way, before I forget, this also happens to be the copy of Amazing Spider-Man 300, which appeared in my How to Press Modern Comic Books video. So if you think I manhandled that Amazing Spider-Man 300 in that video, um, you can go check it out and we'll have to see if we bumped it or not. Um, the other book that is in here is an Amazing Spider-Man 316, which was a disgusting copy I bought at an LCS, really only because it was so disgusting and it needed to be fixed up. Uh, it was a newsstand edition. It was featured in our How I Do My Blue LED Overlays uh, treatment. So um, that's another good test case for us here to see how CGC viewed that comic book. And the fifth book in here is one that is going to be epically near to, and dear to my heart. It is a very rare Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book. It is the Storm Drain Saber to Ash Can, which was a 1990 Mirage publication. Well, I'll just show it to you and then we'll talk about that. All right, so without further ado, uh, let's see how we did. By the way, I'm nervous because this is a small CGC box for five slabs, so... Um, we'll see how, how CGC did, and hopefully none of them are crushed and don't need to go back for mechanical error uh, adjustment, but um, just open it on up there. Not a whole lot of room in this one, so I'm actually just going to get the box out of the way. Not a ton of extra bubble wrap. The rubber bands are on the stack. All right, right on top. Ooh, that's my invoice. <laughs> oh, this is probably going to be the winner of the day. I'm not going to lie. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, this was our previously uh, graded purple label 8.5, and this one now is a blue label 8.5. I have no idea how that is possible uh, because I had to cut out the color touch and the tear seal. It was down here in the bottom corner. Um, and so to me, I was expecting this book to come in at like a seven. So CGC, I think, was either very harsh on this grade or very generous on this grade. Uh, but this is now an 8.5 newsstand copy, um, which has been unplotted. So that is very cool. Uh, and very happy to report that. You'll notice both of them are hopefully now noted newsstand editions, so both of them are newsstand as well. Um, so very cool there. 
All right, this one might be the downer of the day. This is a, the Wolverine number one. Now the good news is we did bump this from a 9.4 to a 9.6, and so we're very happy with that. Uh, both of them are the white pages, so that was cool. Um, this one had some pretty intense foxing on the back. I was actually surprised it got a 9.4 to begin with, um, but I think that this one single spine tick right up here, that waving looks terrible. I think that's just the inner well. Um, for those of you that don't know this, sometimes the inner well on CGC generates a distortion effect on the light. Um, but there's one spine tick. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it in the camera. Um, it's right up here above the question mark. Yep, I'm not going to be able to get it. But it's there and it's real. And I think that's what's keeping this at a 9.6. So um, kind of a bummer on that one. But 9.6 is still a beautiful white page copy, so I will take that. And it did Bumpski, so, you know, this is just me being hard on myself that it only Bumpski to a 9.6. All right, next one up here is the Amazing Spider-Man 300. This one uh, was our prior 8.5 copy featured in our modern pressing video. It is now a 9.2 copy. Uh, and it has now correctly been stated as the newsstand edition. Um, this one was graded before CGC started putting newsstand on the label, and you can check that on the grade date if you wish. Uh, the addition of the new stand label is new to 2023. Um, this one has now thankfully bumped to a 9.2, so that is a two grade level tier. Uh, and I think helps prove that the modern pressing method I demonstrated down here uh, worked out quite nicely. Um, so we're, we've got, let's see here, I'm going to call this a full hat trick. So we've got a Wolverine that went up two grade points. This one did not go up or down grade points, but it went from a purple label to a blue label. So I'm calling that a big win. And then the Amazing Spider-Man 300 uh, did get that double bump ski. So that's pretty cool. Now the next one up here is the Amazing Spider-Man 316. Now, if you watched the video on the blue LED uh, treatment, I did highlight a couple of defects on here. Uh, the most significant of which is a very clear crease in that bottom corner right there. You can see that white line. Um, I called that out in the blue LED video. Uh, that crease by itself is pretty much going to limit it to an 8.5. So I'm not surprised at all this one came in at an 8.0. There was quite a few spine ticks I also highlighted. But an 8.0 newsstand copy, uh, it has off-white to white pages. And um, overall, I think it looks, you know, pretty nice. Um, it definitely looks a whole lot better than it did before we whitened it and brightened it. And you can see the back looks really nice too. Um, so this one is really good and I really submitted it. Um, really bought it from the LCS because it was gross and then I submitted it to CGC just because I had used it in the video and so you can see the CGC outcome of that one. All right, the next one up here is the one for the PC. This is the big book of the day and this one was a unicorn. I didn't think I would ever actually hold a copy of this book, not to mention a copy of this book graded 9.8 white pages. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Storm Drain Saber Ash Can from Mirage Studios 1990. Um, this was given to, I believe, the LA Public Libraries to celebrate Earth Day in 1990. It is, um, technically it's eight pages because it's a, a front cover and then it's an inner, outer, inner, outer, inner, outer, and then a back cover. Um, but if you physically open it, it's only two sheets of paper uh, folded over and glued together. Um, so two sheets of paper printed front and back gets you to, to four, and then folded in half gets you to the eight pages. Um, so very, very small little ash can. Um, uh, but you can see the, the full list on the back. Um, this one's pretty awesome. Very, very rare. Uh, I'm hoping one day to run into Kevin Eastman at a con, and I'm hoping to be able to get him to not only do it a signature series, but also to um, give it a little bit of a remark on the black and white cover, um, just to give it some color and pop. So this one is definitely the Rare Ninja Turtle comic book of the day. Uh, I think when I checked, there were only 10 of these on the CGC census, and very, very few of them were, were the 9.8 grade. Uh, and so this one is awesome. Beautiful addition to the PC and a genuinely rare comic book to own. All right, so that's it. Um, we got one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Storm Drain Sabers. Um, one, uh, kind of as expected, but relatively low grade for a modern due to that corner crease, but one that I think is still positive given, you know, where this book started and where it sits now. A really nice Bumpski on the Amazing Spider-Man 300, an ever popular issue. And now, most importantly, it is now in that 9.0, 9 9.2 grade range. Um, this one, I think, is probably the most shocking of the outcomes. I really can't believe that this one did not take a, a grade hit from that 8.5 to the 8.5 copy. 
And then this one, you know, I think was probably the disappointment of the day. I was really, really, really kind of hoping for that 9.8, but you know, 9.6 sometimes is as good as it gets. So um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you got some entertainment value out of this unboxing. Please drop a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and reach out on Facebook or Instagram uh, if you have any questions. So stay tuned uh, for more videos here from Top Comics Pressing, and keep on collecting. Keep on collecting what you enjoy, and hopefully you can see I have some weird tastes with Ninja Turtle ash cans. So anyway, cowabunga!